We're going to talk about uh, blood typing as far as A, B, O, blood typing. And we're going to add RH factor to that. But first we need to review what makes up a blood sample. So before we do that, let's look at, or before we look at blood typing, let's look at something called a fractionated So you already know the word fraction, and it means to divide something into parts of 100, so fractionated. So if we said we were going to divide that 100% or that whole blood, now we're going to put it into fractions. And so this is called a fractionated blood sample, or one that has been run through a centrifuge. Centrifugation, but we'll just say centrifuge to make it simple, All right? So many of you are already familiar with that. Let's look at if we have a blood sample here. I'm just going to draw a very rudimentary test tube. Let's say we have a test tube here, and we'll go ahead and divide. Say after the fractionation has occurred, we have a part at the top, and then we have a part at the bottom. Okay, that wasn't too hard. And there's a little part in the middle right here, and I'll just draw it as a band. Right, so that divides this upper from the lower portion, and the upper portion is about 55%, and the lower portion is about 45%, and then this middle part is about 1%. So I'll go ahead and put that in there. I realize that doesn't add to 100, so we're thinking that these are, well, it's a fluid. And so the, co the composition is changing all the time within a few 1% or so, and so that's why. So let's look at this top percent, uh, this 55%. This is plasma. <laughs> plasma. And plasma is mostly water. So let's write that in there, water. And this is the fluid portion of your blood that you see that supports the red blood cells and also maintains the osmotic balance between the interstitial uh, tissue and, and the intravascular. So let's look at water. It's got proteins in it. So you may have heard of the proteins, like if you've studied them already, albumin, glycoprotein, fibrinogen. Fibrinogen is for clotting, you remember that? So those are the proteins, very important, and those are the things maintaining the uh, balance. And we've also got electrolytes, which you might know as ions. And there's sugars, you know, glucose, um, there's hormones, you're carrying all your blood gases in there, everything's in the plasma. Right. Not, not all of your blood gases, but you do have CO2 and O2 in there. But these are the main constituents, water, proteins, and electrolytes, and hormones, that kind of thing. Anything that can float around, that's where it's contained. Now, the lower portion, this part is the red blood cell portion. And so the red blood cell is called the hematocrit. So we know those are the red blood cells. And you can think of them as being very heavy in relationship to the plasma. And so if you were to put this sample through a centrifuge, then the heaviest things would fall to the bottom, which is what they've done. And then the uh, lightest weight, so those with the lightest weight, those constituents would go to the top. That would be plasma. And then right in the middle, you have this thing called a buffy coat. And buffy coat comes from the word buff. And the color buff is like a light tan, a beige color. And a buffy coat has things that kind of weigh in the middle. Uh, white blood cells as opposed to red blood cells. So the white blood cells are your immune system. And then platelets, which are also involved in clotting in addition to that fibrinogen protein I mentioned in the plasma. Okay, and so that's what you pretty much have in a fractionated blood sample. Now I'm just going to 
add some red blood cells here. Of course, I'm not drawn on the scale. This is just to remind you that the heavy things fall to the bottom, and it would make it's just common sense that they would be at the bottom. So I'm just co color them in red. Right, so we've got our hematocrit, that's our red blood cells. And then in the middle, kind of a tan color. Of course, I don't have a tan magic marker, but we're just going to make that a, an orange here since I don't have tan. And then the top one, the plasma, typically looks yellow. You may have heard of serum before. Serum is just that yellow portion, that blood plasma that has had all of the clotting factors, those fibrinogens, uh, removed and all the buffy coat has been removed, the white blood cells and the platelets and anything that could cause a reaction in somebody else. So we'll talk about that uh, later. But right now, so these are the parts of a fractionated blood sample that will help you out when we're thinking about how to identify blood types. We're going to have to look at what antigens are and what antibodies are.